whiskey poured over a perfectly shaped clear ice sphere. How beautiful is that? I don't know, there's something about it I just find so satisfying. And I'm sure you do too, because you're watching this, right? But now, I'm sure you're like, but hey, Jean-Felix, was this sphere made with a $5 ice mold or with a $1,000 ice press? That's a really good question. And we're gonna answer that right after the intro. If you guys are ready, let's do it. What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Thank you very much for joining us again for this new ice video today. You know, the first time that I've made a video about ice on this channel, it was about my favorite mold to make perfectly clear ice cubes at home. Unfortunately, that company went sold out and they didn't go back to production yet, so it is still not available today which is quite a bummer because that video is the one that got the most views on the channel. Many of you wanted to buy one, but couldn't because of that. So that's the reason why I decided I would make a second video about clear ice, this time using something that would never go out of stock, a camping cooler. It uses the same technique, directional freezing. There's only one difference. It doesn't come with inserts to make shaped ice. So you have to cut it yourself. And then when you want to shape your ice, you need something called an ice press. It is very interesting. I talked about it in the second video, but there's one thing. It's really pricey. It usually comes at a price tag of around a thousand dollars. So I totally understand that a lot of people don't want to invest that much money in a bar tool. So that's the reason why today I decided I would go for a third video about ice, trying to see if we can make the same result, a perfectly shaped ice sphere out of a $5 ice mold. So first you're gonna need a camping cooler. I recommend you go for this one here, the Coleman five gallon. The size is perfect for most of the freezers and it works really well. Then you will need this Stovolo Sphere Ice Mold. This one is perfect for our project. It has a little hole on top and I'm gonna explain why it comes handy in a minute. Next, you will need an ice pick, a serrated knife, and whatever kind of mallet that you can use to tap on your knife when it comes to cut your ice. So first, you're gonna fill your camping cooler with water. You're gonna do the same with your ice mold. You're gonna flip it upside down and submerge it into the water. Make sure there's no water in this little part right here. That's the way your mold's gonna float at the surface of the water, and that's the important way to get some clear ice inside of that mold at the end of the process. These molds usually comes in kit of two, so you can place them both in the cooler to have two spheres, but today, for the purpose of this video, I need some clear ice to cut to compare the ice mold with the ice press, so that's the reason why I'm using only one. By the way, everything I'm using today to make this is going to be linked in the comments down below. So if you want to get some for yourself, you know where to find them. So now that we're done, they're very simple. All you have to do is to place that in the freezer and wait for 48 hours. So we're going to do that and we're going to see you in two days. Ciao. All right, guys, so we're two days later. Kidding. I've already made some batch ahead of time. That's the magic of YouTube. Uh, so we're gonna wait for about 30 minutes before we're gonna unmold the ice that we have in here. It's gonna allow the ice to temper. It's gonna be easier to unmold. And afterwards, it's gonna also be easier to cut because you need your ice to be tempered when it comes to cutting it. Otherwise, it's only gonna make some charges and chunks and you don't want that. So wait for 30 minutes. Then you're gonna flip your cooler upside down I recommend you do it over the sink because it can make a mess if not all the water is frozen. Then you're gonna bring that over a cutting board and with your serrated knife, you will make a little line next to the mold, about two millimeters deep. And you're gonna do the same on the four sides of the cube. It's gonna make some guides so when you're gonna cut it, it's gonna make a cleaner cut. Once you're done with the four sides, you're gonna place your knife in one of the cuts in which your hammer, mallet, or whatever thing that you found to tap on the knife, you're gonna make some taps on the knife and it's gonna cut pretty straight, just like this. And then with the ice pick, we're gonna to start to clean up the mold to release what I hope 
it's gonna be a perfectly shaped clear ice sphere. So now I'm just gonna cut a beautiful cube of ice for my ice press in order to be able to compare both spheres. So now we're gonna place that beautiful cube of clear ice in the ice press and we're gonna let it work its magic. And this is the result that you will get with a thousand dollar ice press. The shape is perfect, no doubt about it. The ice is almost perfect, but this will come down to the quality of ice that you are able to produce at home, but it is pretty damn close to perfection. So, thousand dollar ice sphere. I'm gonna set it aside. And we're gonna now see what's hidden in the $5 ice mold and see if we made it. And the $5 ice mold. It is not as perfect. There's some imperfection in the ice, but the shape is as beautiful as the one with the thousand dollar ice press. So if you can master the directional freezing, my freezer is not a very good quality freezer. So sometimes it stops being very cold and being warmer and colder. And that's the reason why I get that many bubbles in my ice sphere. But the shape is perfect. And let me tell you for $5, I'm really satisfied with this. So guys, Five dollars, thousand dollars, the choice is up to you. That's it for me today, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're not already. Hit the like and the bell if you want to be notified when we post a new cocktail video. Until then, thank you very much again. Have a great day and see you very soon. Cheers. Kind of like the bubbles in there.